Hello, this is a video about using the Poisson distribution as an approximation to the binomial distribution. And the thought here is that when the sample size gets large, that calculating individual binomial probabilities is, is pretty tough. Well, and the bino and, and calculating the Poisson probabilities is not as tough. <laughs> you know, but with today's computers, it doesn't really matter, but it's still a pretty neat little result. So we're going to let Xn be binomial with parameters n and pn. And we're going to assume that lambda n goes to an, uh, lambda. Okay, and we're going to, in the approximation, we're going to let lambda n be n times pn. Um, so this is uh, the binomial probability. And then we can write the combinations out like this. Um, then Pn can be approximated with lambda n over n. So we'll put those here. And then um, there are x of these. One, two, yeah, to x. And so here we have x ends so let's take that and put it under each one of those so that's what the end this n goes under each one of those and then we're left with lambda the nx you know raised to the x over x factorial this right here we break apart into two to the n and then the minus x and as n goes to infinity each one of these goes to one. That's what this represents. This sort of, now since lambda to the end goes to lambda, then we get this result. And then this is the famous, you know, e to the lambda result, which is this. And then, um, this converges to 1. So this goes to 0, which then converges to 1. So and then 1 raised to the anything is anything. And then um, this right here, you know, the 1's go away, and we're left with the Poisson density. Okay, so now let's use this as an example or in an example and one one note here this is raised to the n and this is a constant so this goes to zero but the way this converges and there's lots of videos on that it converges e to the lambda where this converges to one so let's say there's 20 percent of the applicants fell a screening test and let's assume that 100 people take the test and X is the number who fell. And um, we want to find the probability that at least one fails. You know, PN is 0.2. And so the probability that at least one fails is 1 minus the probability that 0 fails. And using the binomial formula is this, which is approximately equal to 1. And... Um, use of the Poisson distribution so we let lambda be this quantity which is 20 and then it's 1 minus probability that 0 um, happen in a Poisson model which is this which is 1 minus e to the minus 20 which is approximately 1 okay maybe maybe not the best to illustrate you know the power of the approximation but you know this illustrates how to use the Poisson so let's do one more. Let's do the probability that x is 20. In the binomial model, it's this, which is roughly 0 0.099 or 0 0.1. And calculating this right here would, would be pretty tough to do. And in the Poisson model, we're calculating this, which is uh, point, roughly 0 0.9. So the approximation is pretty close. And this is only for n equal to 100. 
And when n gets uh, larger and larger and larger, these approximations get much, much closer. Well, well, that's all I have for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.